guys, happy Saturday. I woke up this morning and did a blog -a -Lottie's routine as you saw, and I just filmed a video for you guys and I'm just, you know, finishing up my coffee. So, so I'm, I'm pretty verbal at this point. In today's vlog, I'm first gonna talk about a cleansing bar that I really love and think will help a lot of you out there who are dealing with facial redness, especially if you have acne and or rosacea or seborrheic dermatitis. I'm also gonna show you guys something really cool that came in the mail that I'm just loving. And of course, I'm gonna do the K-Beauty advent calendar today and I have to go run some errands. So I'll take you guys along for that as well. All right, first of all, cleansing bar recommendation. The Vanny Cream Z Bar. Listen up, this product is amazing for facial cleansing and of course for the body. It's a very gentle soap with zinc pyrithione, which is an anti-inflammatory ingredient that's great for seborrheic dermatitis, a condition related to that little yeast, malassezia. Now many of you out there also deal with a condition called fungal acne, so this will help that as well because that zinc pyrithione is antifungal. And the same yeast that contributes to fungal acne is causative in you know, plays a role in dandruff as well. But zinc pyrithione can <clears throat> also help calm down irritation and redness for people suffering from rosacea, and it also has some anti-acne properties. I have a video talking all about the benefits of zinc pyrithione in um, skincare and in anti-dandruff shampoos. It is the active ingredient in head and shoulder shampoo. And so it's a wonderful ingredient, but unfortunately, you know, the head and shoulder shampoo you can use it actually as like a face wash or a body wash to treat these issues, but it can be very drying. So the Vanny Cream Z Bar is an amazing product. I mean, it's got the zinc pyrithione in there, but it's actually very moisturizing. It's not drying. You know, a lot of bar soaps, it can be quite harsh and strip the moisture barrier. This is not that way whatsoever. I highly recommend it. Um, as I've said in other videos, you cannot go wrong with Vanny Cream. I mean, the, like their products are very no nonsense. And this product is another one that people are just sleeping on because they don't realize how good it is. And because you guys are smart and are watching me, I'm just kidding, just kidding. Um, but because you guys are, you know, donating your time to me, thank you, uh, I wanna share it with you all because I think it's something that could help a lot of you. Rosacea, seborrheic dermatitis, acne, uh, fungal acne, just non-specific <clears throat> non redness. And if you are just in the market for a good facial cleansing bar, I have recommended. Also, uh, for those of you who shave the face and deal with a lot of ingrown hairs and inflammation related to facial shaving, try this out as your cleansing, as your facial cleansing bar, because uh, it's not drying and it's got anti-inflammatory properties that can ultimately help with those issues in the long run. Uh, so it's very good. And of course you can use it, like I said, as a body wash. Speaking of using it as a body wash, it will also help that condition that tends to be worse in the summertime, uh, tinea versicolor or pityriasis versicolor, same thing. That little that condition is related again to that pesky yeast, malassezia, and it consists of um, you know dark brown, scaly kind of patches that then turn light, you know, light, deep pigment, hypopigmented. Uh, and you know, comes and goes, hard to, you know, there's not like really a cure. And typically, you know, when you see your dermatologist, they'll tell you to do this regimen of lathering head and shoulders to the area, letting it sit on the skin for a while, rinsing it off, doing that in the shower daily for a few weeks and then doing it every couple of days as maintenance. You could also use this Vanny Cream Bar. Um, so that's the little bar pearl of the day. Uh, anyways, let me show you guys what came in the mail because like I said, I'm really excited about it. So the folks at Carousel sent me this adorable holiday thank you gift basket. Um, but isn't it cute, um, this little basket and the pretty little thank you card, I guess, for sharing their product so much. Y'all know this is a favorite foot cream. It's got urea, salicylic acid, it's fantastic. I love it, they sent me three and they also have the nail repair version. Which, you, you know, you can paint it on and it's got lactic acid in it, which helps um, with the health of the nail plate. This is amazing. What was the other ingredient in this? I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Um, oh yeah, urea in this as well. The nice thing about this, uh, it's really useful if you have uh, nail psoriasis or toenail fungus. 
uh, to use something like this uh, before putting on certain topical medications. It allows the medication to get into the nail plate better. And then they also sent me some liquid bandage. Um, I used to use this actually all the time when I was a ballet dancer and would get horrible blisters. This is a favorite, the Don Burroughs Medicated Soak. Get this if you live somewhere where there's poison ivy because this is amazing for poison ivy and it's one of those things that's a derm secret people don't know about. It's basically a um, uh, aluminum acetate soak. You just reconstitute these pa uh, packets in water. It's an astringent, really helpful for poison ivy or any kind of rash that's really oozy and weepy. It's great if you have hydradenitis suppurativa and you get one of those painful nodules that drain, uh, drains, uh, the, the sinus tracts that drain. This can be really helpful. You can soak it uh, take the take the reconstituted soak um, and soak a cloth and make a um, little compress with it. Really good. And then they sent me a cute little corksicle mug. That'll be good for tea and a Starbucks gift card. And then these adorable thermal snit slipper socks. Yes made out of recycled bottles. And then of course this cute little tote basket, which will be really handy for my, for whenever I film videos where I have a bunch of products I'm showing. I like to collate them all together and have them next to me and you know carry them from one room to the next. So that's gonna be really handy. So thank you so much, Carousel. This is awesome. On the way out to run some errands. How are you all doing as you are watching this? <laughs> Did you have a good Christmas? It's not yet Christmas for me um, because I'm talking to you in the future. But speaking of which, one thing that you can do to help my future self, because you will be watching this like the day after Christmas, which is a day of movie watching. So suggest down below some movies for yours truly to watch on either Netflix or Amazon Prime, please. Thanks. <laughs> I love watching movies around the holidays and I typically like to go to the movies, but obviously that's not like, I don't know if it's not possible, but not really ideal to be doing. One of you guys mentioned the other day in one of my videos that you thought it was strange that I never actually say the C word. <laughs> I think I have a few times. Um, I always refer to it as, you know, the current situation or the pandemic. And the reason for that is not to be, you know, vague. It's because YouTube, at least when it all started, I don't know if they've like loosened the reins a bit, but when it all started, they were very strict about saying that word and they would, you know, flag your video if you said it. Um, and so, like, because I didn't want a lot of misinformation spread, which happens no matter what they try and do. Um, I mean, misinformation is rampant on the internet about all things, all things. Um, people are like, just Google it. And it's like, actually, don't. Um, anyways, yeah, so they would flag your video if they heard that, you know, because they have these bots that detect things in your video no matter what you're doing like you have to be mindful of that because you could say something and yeah i mean so that's why i don't say it it's not to be vague it's just because yeah i'm not sure if it's still community guideline unfriendly what i think it's fine but what else yeah you don't want to make the bots mad because that's not fun i mean and with everything going on to more of YouTube's like back end, I think is bot mediated now because you know they can't have people in close proximity to one another working at the YouTube. <laughs> the YouTube, I don't know, y'all. Like, I had a video that was taken down by YouTube uh, on my favorite ingredient, CBD, and for like over a year I was petrified to even mention that ingredient. I still don't know why they took the video down. Like I didn't say, make any claims about it. Obviously, you know, I'm not really for people just like making all these lofty claims. 
Um, I didn't like promote it. I really do not understand why that video was taken down and I got a strike for it too, which is basically like, um, like a slap on the wrist. But if you get so many strikes, then YouTube can actually take your channel down. Um, and to this day, I don't know why that video was a problem because, you know, there are thousands of videos on that ingredient. I mean, people giving it to their dogs, you know, putting it in their eyes, you name it. And all I was doing was saying, like, this is the research behind using it on the skin. It's not quite conclusive yet. And I don't know, something happened, maybe, maybe because I mentioned the corresponding other drug we think about with CBD and you know I was talking about that but I wasn't like promoting it or anything I don't know anyways regardless I got the I got the strike or whatever and I disputed it and I like they couldn't they were like nope sorry <laughs> and they didn't give me a reason which was very you know frustrating so yeah I've been I'm afraid to say that word too much but my video on Worst skincare trends of 2020. They didn't seem to have a problem with me saying it in the video, so fingers crossed I don't get in trouble again. But I mean, I, I kind of understand like why they do the things they do because it's too hard. It's got to be too difficult. I mean, you can't control everything on YouTube. There's just too many creators putting out content, so they have like um, kind of umbrella methods to rein in some of the bad actors and you might get caught up in that even if you were not misbehaving. It does feel a little bit like uh, something out of 1984 though. I've got to be real with you guys. It feels a little bit like, you know, Brave New World 1984 type action, but hey. It's a, it, you wouldn't know it was um, December. I mean, it's beautiful weather at the moment. So that could change at any any second. It could start suddenly start raining, sleeting. Uh, ben and Jerry's has really livened up their storefront. I'd flip you guys around, but that's too hazardous. Uh, they've got a new mural out. All flavors are created equal. Oh, that's cute. And then they've got a uh, food truck, it looks like. Speak of the devil, you guys. There it is. The C word. <laughs> Apothecary. I'm sure they have various creams and serums and whatnot. Nasal sprays. Toilet bowl cleaner. <laughs> Detoxing the toilet bowl. Like the armpit detox. Ay Dios, the armpit detox, you guys. Ugh, quackery at its finest. The armpit detox. Like, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I don't know. But, uh, you know, people who are convinced about the armpit detox, it's like talking to a brick wall. I mean, like, you just have to accept the fact that they don't agree with you, which I do, you know? I mean, that is that is one of the keys to happiness in life, you guys, is accepting the fact that people are not gonna agree with you and that, uh, you know, people are not gonna think the way that you do. And if you go into things realizing that up front, then you're less likely to be disappointed or get angry or vexed, um, you know, about like you being right. You just accept the fact that, you know, people are not always going to see the world the way that you do and you know maybe they have have uh have a scope that you know your lens isn't quite there yet so we're all changing beings speak of the devil i know this guy does not think like i think in terms of uh safe driving practices so Okay, you guys, we're almost done with the advent calendar. I'm gonna do a day 21 and 22 today, and then tomorrow I'll open day 23 and 24 for you guys. Day 21, something in a green box. This has been so much fun, hasn't it? The plant base. Oh, 
AC Clear Spot Magic. This has uh, tea tree oil in it. Now tea tree oil is not my favorite ingredient because it can and commonly does cause irritation and contact dermatitis. It, is, it does have antibacterial and antimicrobial properties but because it's not a pure substance, the extent of that is variable and it can degrade and degrade into irritating compounds, especially with exposure to light. Anyways, so it has that and it's also got um, licorice root, which you guys know has a skin brightening effect. And otherwise besides the tea tree, it seems okay. It's got some like, oh, it's kind of like, it's kind of like that, um, what's it called? The uh, Mario Badescu drying lotion or the Kate Somerville one, except this one doesn't appear to have sulfur in it. it the first ingredient, yeah, it is very similar. It's got calamine in it and alcohol denaturant is the first ingredient. I don't know, you guys. This seems, this seems like it'd be, it could be very drying. This looks like some masks by Neogen. Now the Neogen, the Neogen um, essence I really liked. So I imagine these will be good. I just don't know if they have fragrance in them or not. Um, you know, sheet masks, they can be soothing and you know, just kind of a nice way to moisturize. But the, one of the main reasons I don't do them is because they take too much time. <laughs> So, uh, but I think I might give those a try. All right, so that was day 22. Like I said, tomorrow I will share with you guys day 23 and day 24. Well, hey guys, I am back and I just finished up a run. I'm gonna hop in the shower, but I wanted to update you guys on one of the, one of the products that I got in the advent calendar, the uh, Fig Cleansing Balm by I Am From. I'm From. I've been using this, I actually, like it, even though, like I, you know, pointed out, it obviously has fragrance, but it works really well. And um, I find that what I like about it is it, li not liquefies, but yeah, I mean, it liquefies and smooths out on the surface of the skin really quickly. I just washed my hands, um, so yeah. I mean, truthfully, there's not. I don't find that, you know, cleansing bombs are too strikingly different as far as outcome of taking stuff off. But I do like that this is so soft that it blends into the skin, you know, over the skin really quickly, as opposed to some of them are harder and they, you know, you have to kind of work them into your hands a little bit and they're just more difficult to spread. So, I mean, it's just a little nitpicky thing, but I thought I would share that with you guys because this, I've really been enjoying this cleansing balm. If you're in the market for one, I, I think it's pretty good. It emulsifies with water too and just rinses off. So, oh, speaking of rinses off and stuff I'm taking off, I wanted to share another um, advent calendar update with you guys. The mascara I've been wearing lately is the one that I got the other day, the Mizon, Mizon Collagen Curling Fix Mascara. I've actually liked this quite a bit. It's more of a subtle lash, but it has a nice lift. Uh, it gives the lash, lashes a nice lift. So this has been nice as well. Yeah, so the calendar has been really good. Anyways, I'm gonna hop in the shower and I'll talk to you guys later. Well, hey guys, I am gonna go to sleep. I'm all cozy in my Carol Hawkman robe here. Um, I just put a fresh pillowcase on my pillow. So, you know that smooth side of the pillow, even though I sleep on my back and never really appreciate it. But I'm pretty tired. I think I'm gonna pass out here. Thank you guys for coming along with me today. I know it was kind of a random mishmash of whatnot. It was really no rhyme or reason, but I enjoyed spending time with you all. I hope you all are having a good weekend and thank you for making it this far in this video. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.